The reproduction of ferns is defined by the main processes of the absence of flowers and fruit, the production of spores, and by alteration of generations. Ferns can range from small houseplants to larger, full-grown trees. Lots of plants go through a life cycle that goes between diploid and haploid alterations of generations. Alterations of generations is a life cycle that includes diploid and haploid multicellular life stages. In these two phases of generations, they are often distinct. In the sexual phase, which is the gametophyte generation, produces gametes and is haploid with a single set of chromosomes. The sporophyte, which is asexual, produces spores and is diploid with a double set of chromosomes. In the beginning of reproduction, the fern starts with producing spores in the haploid stage. Spores are held in the sporangia, which are little dots at the back of the fern. This is the place where meiosis happens to give rise to haploid cells. The spores release onto a suitable substrate that grows via mitosis. The spores go through mitosis to create many other looking identical haploid cells. These cells in a group are called a gametophyte. As you can see, the sperm's gametophyte looks like a heart-shaped leaf. Even at this point, the gametophyte is capable of photosynthesis. This means that it can grow independently and create its own energy. Now the gametophyte is ready to produce gametes. The gametangias, which is where gametes are specifically produced in a gametophyte, produce either eggs or sperm. The archegonia is where the eggs come from. They are only produced one at a time. The anthridia is the male gametangia that produces many sperm. When water touches the female organ, it opens up to showcase the eggs. The fern sperm then swims to the canal of the archegonia to fertilize the egg. The zygote from an egg and sperm grows by mitosis to then produce the sporophyte. This then creates these nice green little plants you see here. It is our experience that ferns are hard to grow, as in layman terms, we lack a green thumb, and all of our ferns live the short life.